Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Wanda here for today's tarot. Welcome all of you to the 10th of January 2019. Um, I am here right now because uh, talking from my phone um, because uh, my computer has decided to funny games with me this morning. So I'm talking to you um, from my from my I from my you know my phone. Anyway, how are you? I hope you're all well. If you have a look in the comments box, um, I had the last few nights. I don't know about you, but the last few nights I haven't been able to sleep, and and I've been sort of praying about it. Um, and I, I have a realisation I want to share with you. Well, the realisation isn't like the last minute realisation. I suppose it's confirmation of what, um, what's been happening in the world right now, on the planet, in the universe. Some introspection, I suppose that you could call that. This is what I wanted to share with you, that everybody, everybody on the planet is experiencing what what um, we call a rebirth. All right. So we. This is how I'm going to try to. Un, I, I need you to listen really carefully because you may have been feeling this, and I know that a lot of you in your feeds have been saying I haven't been feeling well and I've been out of sorts. Um, thank you for your guidance, Wanda. It helps me a little bit to get things sorted out in my life to, to focus on. Because we are going through a transcendence, a transcendence of our reality, of what we think is our reality, okay? And this rebirth is, is the you that you think you know, the you that you identify with here on the planet, the you that gets upset or triggered, the you that's the fun and games person, the you that's the quiet in you know the, the quiet um, stand behind the curtain kind of person. That is only an interpretation of who you believe yourself to be. And I'm telling you right now that's not you. And so the rebirthing that I'm talking about is about the, the rebirthing or the change or the transcendence of you as you understand yourself in the physical body to your higher self. You are now moving through this integration. And what does that feel like? I'll tell you what it feels like because I've been going through it big time since the solstice on the 21st of December. Well, even before then, uh, even before then, but I was so resistant and I didn't actually understand what that meant, um, that why that resistance was coming up. And so now I have a clearer understanding of it that might, that I'll give you an example, okay, and stay with me on this one if you can, please, because I, I, I really feel this will help, maybe help you, okay, before I do the card, of course. All right, so... As I've understood myself as a person, that I can succeed at what I've put my mind to, um, I'm, I'm usually a fun kind of a person, I like to make people happy, um, I'm, I sort of am uh, actually quite a servant to others, I go move over and above to help others where I can, and I usually do things for free, and it's been a real struggle for me on a personal level in this reality to um real you know to up my prices and and do all that kind of thing um and it comes from a deep sense of lack of self-worth and that i'm not enough and yet there was this other part of me that was bubbling up and it's been like that for ages because i've been very psychic since i was little 
And so therefore I've pushed that down and and then I've let it come up and then and all this kind of thing. So I've been going like on a bit of a roller coaster and how I understand myself to be that I know that I'm a strong person. Um, I had a lot of shit in my life I had to deal with. And so therefore those experiences in this reality have helped me become the strong person who I am today and I recognize myself in this reality as even though I'm a woman that I'm quite masculine you know like I could be gruff and I can be I can call it if I have to and I can really be that masculine woman okay if you want to call it that but in the last in the last four or five months I have been screaming screaming at my husband to to step up to to be the man to to you know to to be able to go right you know come on you know we've got to run this business we've got to get it off the ground you're going to do this and 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 you know what that's that was bullshit it was absolute bloody bullshit because i am a pro, i was projecting what was happening was that I was being called to step into my feminine. I was, oh, I'm going to cry now. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I was being called to step into my feminine. You might have the same. All you strong women out there who've been doing it tough, who've been helping everybody else in your lives, learn from me. It's not about others. It's about you. It's about you stepping in to your feminine. Or maybe for you it could be your masculine. There is a shift going on right now and you have to accept it because you're here. You can resist as long as you can. I was doing that for sure. And resistance is not what it's all about. You know, being vulnerable is what being a, the feminine is stepping into that vulnerable that vulnerability and yet still being powerful at the same time um if you're stepping into your masculine because you've been vulnerable all your life in a way that hasn't been empowering for you so the the rebirthing is about you integrating you integrating the balance now, the overbalance in my life was the fact that I was masculine, a, a masculine woman. And now I, I got the clear voice early this morning in my journaling that I am stepping into my feminine. I'm stepping into the feminine power and being and now learning to embody that and knowing that it is okay to feel vulnerable and knowing that it is okay to let others do the job because now my job is to step up to a higher level of what it means to be feminine it's not just being the cutesy with the high heels it's nothing to do with that imagery it's to do more with the energy and the energy of the feminine is compassion and love oh, I'm sorry. okay I'm going to try and grab a hold of myself so that I can do the cards for you this morning but you're all, every single one of you who are on right now, are going to go through this. You're going to go through it in such a way that you're going to be resistant and you won't even know and the ego is going to play out with you. There's going to be a whole lot of stuff come up and, you, and it's like a diversion and you have to stay in your lane. And just continually just ask your higher self to show you the way. And it's really got even nothing to do with your ego because it's going to happen to you whether you like it or not. And 
and, and it is happening all over the world. Now, why am I upset right now? It's because, you know, I'm, I'm understanding now that I'm letting go of this identity that I've been calling myself Wanda because I'm stepping into something more beautiful. Um, I'm stepping into something that's unknown and being vulnerable and allowing others to serve for me. Because only in that in, in that space of allowing, in, in in the space of me allowing others to give to me, can I rise? And so if you're aligning with this right now, if you're understanding what I'm talking about, then then take it on. And and know if you've been feeling weird, if you've been, you know, um, your relationship, if you're feeling that your relationships have changed and, 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 and you're feeling that and you don't know what it's all about. And I have been feeling all those feelings. And on one level of my understanding, I got it, but I hadn't realized the purpose of it all until the last few nights when I've been wide awake at two o'clock in the morning trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. And so now I get it. Oh, and this is why I'm I'm having this upsetment, and I'm really sorry. Uh, I don't mean to be a big sook. Uh, I'm not usually a sooky kind of a person, but this is what's really happening. And I wanted to share it with you, and I wanted you to know that it's all good. You know, there's nothing to fear, and just be in that space of allowing it all to happen is is the most powerful thing because you've been here. You chose as a soul to be here right now at this time. Let me know in the comments box because I can't read anything right now because um, I'm on the phone and all these messages are coming up right in front of the screen that I'm actually focusing focused on talking to you. And so if this is resonating with you right now, if you're getting it, then tell me. If you're not getting it, then tell me and I will find a way to help you understand it. You cannot, you cannot avoid this. This is going to go on until about maybe March to May you know, that everyone's going to be feeling this and stepping up. And what will happen? What does that look like? Okay, so your higher self is not your soul. I always thought the higher self was the soul, but it isn't. The higher self is the part of you that's 24-7 connected to the universal energies. And you are integrating into that because there's no separateness anymore. That idea that we are, it, the idea that we think that we are separate from God, separate from divinity, is complete and other crap. We are that. And so that is why all this is happening right now on an energetic level. And the mind is doing its best to keep you away from that understanding. Um, so. Um, I hope I'm making sense. I want to talk more about this um, t tomorrow with you and maybe in the coming days for you to understand. And the things I can ask you if you would if you're not stepping into if you if, if you're not stepping into your meditation and in your daily practice of calm or yoga or however you you see you know drinking water do some fasting around this listen to your body listen to your emotions that that is key right your emotions are what is going to help you understand what's going on don't listen to your mind your mind will try to keep you in in reactive safety mode and so when you have these emotions that come up whatever they may be just focus on where they are in the body that's what i've been telling all my tarot clients where are where are your emotions right now in your body and then just focus on that as comfortable as uncomfortable as it might be just focus on that and let it and just feel the feels feel the feels and see what happens and it will dissipate and just let it go just just let it go if you've got to cry like i've been crying now let it go and then and then you'll feel so much better and you don't need to sort of analyze oh now where did that come from and was i abused as a child and or whatever don't give it a reason just 
allow it to be what it is. And then once the feeling goes, go on with your daily tasks. If you need to stop, if you're tired, have a little rest. Be good to yourself. Okay, and now I'm going to do the cards. So I hope that makes sense, everybody. Um, for those of you who are coming in halfway and wondering what the hell I'm blubbering about, you might want to take it from the beginning and, and just listen to this message because it's very important. And I really, I, I love you all so much that I want to share that with you, my experience, but knowing that you will have your own experience. And we are all having our own experience in our own time. So don't feel less than if you're going, oh my God, I don't know what Wanda's talking about. I feel a little bit like that, but not quite sure. Because there are some of us who have already integrated. There are some of us who have already done it. And for some, and I can't say it's been an actual joy either you know um, it hasn't been but it's been such an awareness awakening and it's been there the whole time I just wasn't seeing it you know because I was trying to function in my old way and I clearly get it now so that's why I'm sharing sharing this with you right now so what is my higher self um, going to share with you today thanks for listening Okay, here we go. Wow. Oh, hang on. Okay, today's card is the hanged man. Doesn't mean I'm hanged, or well, probably. <laughs> um, or does it mean that you're hanged? Because every time I receive a card, it's about you as well. So the hanged man is stay with the status quo. That if I turn the card upside down, you see the guy and he's still smiling right? He's not choking. He's not dying. He hasn't got a look of dread on his face. So in this conversation I've had with you today and with what's going on, this is going to be happening for you if, if it hasn't already happened. And if it has happened to you or it is happening, share in the comments box because you won't believe how many hundreds of people um, read read this and they read your comments. And so you are inadvertently helping someone else understand what's happening for them. Let's be the ripple effect of change. You know, here am I talking. You're responding to me. Your responses, your shares help someone else on the other side of the world who probably will be watching this later on down the track. So getting back to the hanged man, the hanged man is very much about being in the present, it being in the space of allowing and knowing that everything is okay, right? Thank you. Thank you, higher self. That is what that is all about. And it's a major arcana card. So it's not going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this shift now, okay, and then it's all over. No, because the process of integration um, takes a little bit longer. Why? Because you're embodying a new you. And that's what I've been going through. I've been embodying the new me and now I recognize what that is. And so you might be going through the same thing. You might have already embodied that. But I know for sure that people who I know who are friends of mine, they've embodied it like last year already. So does it mean because you embody it later or sooner, does it mean that you're bad or does it mean that you're behind the eight ball? No, it means nothing like that. We, we all have our wave of, of transcendence to follow. And so just appreciate that part. And all you've got to do is just focus on yourself because every, and allow everyone else to transcend in their own way. So that is what that's all about. The status quo and in the status quo, it's all good. Now, I'm going to read for somebody. Let's have a look because I can't see. Let's have a look. Okay, there's a Linda. A Linda Dyer. I can see your name, darling. Okay, Linda, if you're still on, this today's card is for you. But we all know who's listening right now that... Um, we're all listening right now. The, all of you that are listening right now, you know that this card is for you. And I know I have to change these cards now. I have to um, start with another deck. I, I felt that yesterday. And I'll be starting tomorrow as um, I'm giving myself time for to integrate this new, this new embodiment of the feminine. Um, that's Even though I know a little bit about it, 
I haven't really stepped into it. And, uh, and I knew this was happening. So, okay, here we go. This is for Linda, knowing it's all for us. And hello, everybody who's on and joined me. I really do appreciate it. Oh, can you believe this, Linda? This is for all of us and for you right now. Linda, I don't know what you're going through right now, my darling, but this is the angel of acceptance. And in that acceptance, you find your happiness, be kind to yourself, and just be very present to the beauty and the gratitude around you. And that is of the importance right now. Nothing else is important except that right now. And to detach and feel at peace. And that means not... I had a client call earlier this morning and... um. This woman was all in the drama of family and her husband's unwell and she's all stressed out. And, and I said, you've got to just stop. You've got to give up the drama queen scenario because it's just not working for you anymore. And so what I'm saying to you is if you've been a drama queen or a drama king, may just drop it because that's just all ego bullshit of you getting yourself into a tiz like like a you know those um I give these to my grandchildren um they're like a fuzzy uh, bath bomb and you know you put them in the water and they fizz all around that's what you're doing creating dramas that are not necessary and so therefore if you just accept the what so and that everybody in your family um is doing their thing in their way, whether you think it's right or wrong, has got nothing to do with you. And so in this idea of acceptance, is just focus on you. Now, it's not being selfish. It's just staying in your lane. Staying in your lane. Don't cross over to the other lane. Stay in your lane and work with yourself first. Does that make sense? So... For you, Linda, it's detach and feel the peace. And I'll give you another example um, just before I do the final little t thing today. Is this. Our egos like to become attached to material things. And where we live right now in Kayama, it's just the most one of the most beautiful places I know on, on the planet in the places that I have been to, and I love living here. And maybe just before Christmas, I can say I felt completely disconnected to the house that I live in, to the business that I'm running. And for me, that was very scary because I've spent a lot of time um, and a few, and you know, like years building up my business. And all of a sudden, I had this disconnect now, it wasn't a disconnect because I'm not successful or it was more like a detachment. And um, and there was no emotional attachment. It was just the what's so in my life. And, would, you know, and my husband said to me, are you scared? And I said, because we're moving very soon. I'll talk to you more about that later. We'll be moving. So was and then all in in my art classes and I used to love teaching art I still do but I'm not attached to it anymore and that's a new understanding for me something new and scary because I thought oh my god you know what's happening to me so talking about this rebirth that might happen to you too you might suddenly feel a disconnect or a d detachment from it and it, and it's okay because when you are detached from your material surroundings and in the gratitude for having it in the first place, you just need to know at a very deep level that everything is given already, that you are already that, that you are already your higher self, that, that everything that you want is already there and it's not attached to how you think about it. It's, it's in your understanding of, it is, it is in your under, own understanding of just accepting the, the feeling that you have and going with that. So, with this message today, detach. Don't force it, it will happen. And 
in the space of this integration of the chaos that you might be feeling within yourself that is going to happen to you, whether you like it or not, that everything will be okay and go with it. Everything is yours. All the goodness um, that you ever had dreamed of is all yours now. And having said that, everybody, um, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for providing the space for me to share at my deepest core. And um, I know I'm crying. It's, it's all right. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because it's so special. And I know what you all to understand it. So if you've come in halfway, please start from the beginning so that you understand what this what this um this video is all about. Guys, I'll see you later and until what's today? Thursday? Until tomorrow and I'll be sharing more with you. Um, lots of love to you. If you uh, need a private tarot reading, I, I don't usually blubber in readings, mind you. Um, you're the one that's blubbering. But um, if you would like a private reading with me and you feel it's time, by all means, allow me to be of assistance. Um, that is my job. God bless you all. And um, I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Bye.